Now for our big story tonight. It's been nearly five years since a string of freeway shootings put many of us on high alert here in the valley while trying to go about our daily routine. Things like going to work and even picking up the kids. The shootings remain a mystery, but tonight new documents claim the state may have missed evidence that links an accused serial killer to the crimes. Team Charles Bianca Bono joins us live from along I-10 with the developing details. Bianca. Well, guys, you may remember cops arresting Leslie Mara Jr. and prosecutors charging him with some of those freeway shootings, but the case fell apart. Now Mara Jr. is suing the state, and his lawyer says detectives should have been focusing their attention on an alleged serial killer. In 2015, there is a real and continuing threat to Arizona motorists. People in the valley. One of our vehicles was shot on I-10. Living in fear. Somebody shooting the cars on the freeway. A spree of random shootings on I-10 in the West Valley, leaving drivers on edge. DPS arresting Leslie Merritt Jr. The governor tweeting, we got him. Investigators claiming Merritt Jr. was responsible for four of the 11 freeway shootings, holding him in solitary confinement for nearly seven months before the state's case fell apart. I'm the wrong guy. I tried telling the detectives that. Authorities released Merritt Jr. and prosecutors dropped all charges against him. Around the same time as the freeway shootings, a serial killer on the loose in the Maryville area killed nine people in 12 separate incidents. The investigative team has found probable cause to arrest 23-year-old Aaron Sacedo. Police ultimately arrested Aaron Sacedo for those deadly shootings. Now, new documents that Merritt Jr.'s attorney is filing claim DPS possibly overlooked evidence linking Sacedo to the freeway shootings. The documents filed in a civil lawsuit against the state for the wrongful arrest say license plate reader data identified Saucedo's car at at least two of the freeway shooting locations. They also claim investigators should have known Saucedo was a suspect because his gun was, quote, not in pawn at the time of the four shootings. Both Merritt and Saucedo pawned their guns at the Mo Money pawn shop in Phoenix. DPS investigators seized eight guns in the freeway shooting investigation, including both of theirs. But they claimed Merritt Jr.'s gun, not Saucedo's, was a match, meaning now, nearly five years later, the freeway shooting case remains unsolved. So what does DPS have to say about all of this? Well, the agency referred us to a statement from 2017 saying there's no evidence linking Salcedo and the freeway shootings. Salcedo's attorney has not responded to our calls. We're live in Phoenix tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News at 10.